Hey, it's Roger. I'm coming out of Six Mile Creek Greenway. Man, this Marvin is just such a lovely, lovely hamlet. And what I'm going to tell you is we're coming up on a neighborhood that's brand new. If you're a $2 million to $4 million buyer, mostly in the 2 to $3 million, this piece of ground probably was an equestrian, that's my guess, neighborhood where somebody had a a house and horses and these things you know somebody dies and things change hands things are for sale but buying dirt in the greater Marvin area uh, is a big deal now it starts right here and you may have seen the signs talking about the sage at Marvin uh, Nick Peters is a great local custom builder and Rodney Jones is in the car with me Rodney you've had some interaction with Nick Peters you know I have Roger and Nick Peters just completed a 20,000 square foot model home including the bowling alleys in the basement and I'll tell you I had the privilege and honor of touring that model home and when I say his quality is second to none his quality is second to none so we just passed it it's going to be developed in about 20 home sites or so uh, 2023 home sites and they're going to be in the two to three million dollar range mostly but Rodney it's a beautiful thing that these are customizable now if somebody had their own uh, ideas about what they wanted uh, Nick Peters is purely a custom builder without a doubt and I'll tell you Roger he he builds the wow factor he wants you to like your home and he's willing to go the extra mile to make it that way you know his his wife's a designer and the two of them combined will will build a home that'll just really knock your socks off well we're right down the street from the estates at Marvin Branch which there are a few opportunities that people may not know about uh, now this space right here is open wide open common open space what does that term common open space mean that means it's included in the community but it's usually maintained by the HOA Roger and common open space never gets built upon so it's it's kind of a unique community because they built on one side of the road but not on the other so you're not staring into another house well the old proverbial get up the newspaper on your front porch if you woke up at six in the morning seven and you got on your front porch and looked out at this you're probably gonna see some wildlife no doubt about it. We've got deer and hawk down here, all kind of things. Well, and the Carolinas, what an awesome place to live. 78 degrees right now at the in the last few days of October. Uh, you're a golfer, Rodney. Have you ever played uh, in November? You know, I have. And ironically, right across the street from the Sage there was Firethorn Country Club. I Ooh. remember paying, playing that course when it first opened. Now, again, that's a big money neighborhood. That's an awesome neighborhood. Uh, I, people that are subscribed to the channel, if you're not, hit, hit, hit that hit that button but Rodney they know we I ask you silly questions but uh, are you able to help list and sell in Firethorn? You know I can list and sell in any community in North or South Carolina Roger now my background is new construction that's where I have the most experience and I know most of the on-site sales reps and how to get a hold of them I also help people with resale homes but going back to golf for just a moment here Roger I, I grew up playing golf and golf is year-round here in the Carolinas. In other words, there's not snow here that'll impede the game. Um, it's warm enough or mild enough climate you could play year round. And I'll tell you, I have never seen more nice daily feed pay golf courses than I have here in the Carolinas. And I think that's why builders, one of the reasons they're not building uh, developments with golf uh, courses in them. We've got plenty of golf courses. Plus that dirt is expensive and so many people have discovered, well that's nice looking, have discovered the Charlotte area and they're relocating. In fact, a lot of our business is, is people that are coming here. How do you get people, they fly in, how do you get them oriented to, to uh, our area? Yeah, you know, and, and I go back to some of the basics about location, 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 and what makes a great location. And that could be different for everyone. It could be schools, it could be proximity to the airport it could be proximity with to uptown you know we say uptown here Roger not downtown well I love the, the backstory behind that call me and I'll tell it to you people now Ronnie in your years of experience this is you know these are say million and a half two million dollar homes now Nick Peters is going to be selling two million to three million even up to four what would be the difference between a home 
that's under two million and a home that's under that's over two million. Well, and I'll tell you, Jones Homes does an outstanding job of building homes within their guidelines. So, in other words, they're going to offer you many choices and many different variations. But there's going to be a point where they say, "No, that's not in our wheelhouse." Go to Nick Peters. They don't know the word no. You want to move a wall? You want to move a window? You want to make changes? They'll do it. And it's it's always three small words Roger slight additional charge <laughs> change order fee yeah. yeah but these are beautiful homes so again uh, helping people within their budget is something that you're really good at you know it is and and I look at the budget but I focus mainly on the home you want and the location you want now sometimes you know people do they get sticker shocked or price shocked and we have to adjust what what they're getting in the home but my focus is to help you find the home you want at the budget you want in the location you well want. Marvin schools is a knockout so do the research on that now Rodney I'm gonna you have a lot of little poems that I quote and uh, uh, one of them is if somebody had an opportunity to wait a year, year and a half. Why, why would you wait, wait? Wait, let me set you up, man. Wait a year and a half to build a two to three million dollar house down the road. And then this house right here is available for about uh, under 1.5. What, what's your little poem? Well, and, wait a minute, I want to get you on camera. Yeah, yeah. So my, my question is always, why would you wait to build when there's so many great homes on the market like this one that Roger was just showing there? Another story I have is I've had people buy a home like that while they're building their dream home two to three uh, years out down the road. And that's something else I can help you with because once that new home gets ready and you move from this home, I can list and sell this home and help you get in the new home he's a sales animal people we love working together 704 three wait Two, uh, so you you never want to call Nick Peters or the builder or the seller directly you want a buyer's give my, agent give him my number so the number you want to call is 704-202-7460 704-202-7460 call or text we make it fun, guys. We have a great time with it, and we want to walk with you during your journey, especially if you're relocating. We make relocating to Charlotte easy. 704-3202-7460. See what I have to deal with? <laughs>